Hi guys, it's me Swastik and in this video, I'll be talking about how to make a custom chaining status for your Discord bot using Python. So let's start. Now an example of this would be PantherBot and as you can see, it's playing version 0.5 and it just changed and now it's playing on 101 servers. So this is what we'll be doing every some 5 to 10 seconds, we'll be changing the status. Now to do this, we will need to know about statuses first, about how to get these statuses working and we'll also need to know about background tasks. Now with background tasks, you'll be able to send messages. If you want, you can do stuff in the background and you'll be able to maybe send every five minutes a message to a channel, I guess, repeating some things or randomly saying some messages. You could do a lot with background tasks, but for this video, we'll be just using them, uh, just using these background tasks to change our status. So let's start the code. So there are four types of statuses that you can set. The first one is simply a playing status. To do this, it's simply await client.change presence. Activity is discord.game and the name would be the game. So playing a game or playing something like playing with or playing on. Um, if you wanted something like playing on 100 servers and instead you wanted this um, number to be actually the amount of servers, you could do something like length of client dot guilds just add an f string f so this would be saying playing on this many servers the amount of servers your bot is in and maybe something like your prefix and help something like this is common in many bots so this would be something you want to do now the next one would be streaming now for streaming it's simply await client or change presence Activity is discord.streaming and the name is my stream. So anything you would want here and the URL would be a Twitch link or a YouTube link. And that's it. Now for listening, you could do client.change presence. Activity is discord.activity with a capital type discord.activity dot uh, discord.activity type dot listening. And the name would be a song. So any song you'd like and for watching it's await ctx dot change presence activity discord dot activity type is discord dot activity type dot watching and you could say watching over the mods or something many things you could do it's up to you it's up to you and this is how you do it so you can choose one of them and let's now make the background tasks we need a function for this so it's going to be async def you can call it anything you want. I'm going to call it change presence. And we will say, we'll wait, await a client dot wait until ready. And once it's ready, we can then choose a list of statuses. So I think I have some statuses already selected. So this is a list of statuses. So for example, playing a game, playing on, like we said here, playing on this many servers and discord.py you could add whatever you want inside this you could have this being infinitely long and then we'll go in a loop go inside a loop while the bot is not closed so while client dot not closed so the way you write it is simply while not client is closed we will say the a random status we'll choose a random status status is random dot choice now you do need to import random first so make sure you do that import random then we can say random dot choice a random choice from these statuses then we can set that as our presence so let's just get the playing presence and paste this here hit tab and instead of this name we'll change it to the status now we do need to wait for some time before changing it. So if you do this, it'll instantly change every time and it will be API abuse, I think. So make sure you add some space. Now the way to do it is not using time.sleep because it'll freeze the entire program. And instead we want to use async queue. Now you need to import it. So I'll just do that. I already did it. Import async queue. And then we can await async queue dot sleep 
for let's say every 30 seconds 30 is too much for this i think i'll just do 10 seconds so every 10 seconds it'll update and then we can add it as a inside add it as a background task so it'll be client dot loop dot create underscore task and inside of this we just say ch dot pr ch underscore pr so this is the name of the background task and this is it so and actually put it at the end of the code just above client dot one so your code would look like this client dot one and you put it right above it so this is it and once it's done i'll sh i'll just show the output to you guys so as you can see the bot is ready now and it says playing on one server and soon it'll change and it'll say as you can see it says playing discord.py and that's it for today guys i hope you enjoyed if you did hit the like button and subscribe and i'll meet you in the next one goodbye